Okay, welcome to week four. So this week is going to seem um, too easy. <laughs> you just need to read one chapter. You're going to read chapter seven. It's on voting and elections. And then you just have one reflection assignment, which has multiple questions. Um, remember, three complete sentences for each question. And then, um, so the topic covered is voting and elections. And this week, I want you to spend some time in the news, watching, reading, looking for news, and trying to find like various news sources. Um, you know, if you are a Democrat, try to find news sources that lean more toward the Republicans. If you're a Republican, try to find news, news sources that lean more toward the Democrats. That will just give you a more well-rounded um, picture. You know, it's, it's kind of like your friends. If, if you're all talking about somebody that you know, um, you know, there's going to be your side of the story, their side of the story, and the truth is somewhere hopefully in the middle. So it's, it, you need a lot of different sources sometimes to get a full picture. The main takeaway from this week is I really want you guys thinking about voting. Even though this is not a presidential election year, it's not a midterm year, um, my county still has voting going on, certain initiatives and issues, yours probably does too. So I really encourage you look at local news, national news, Make sure you're registered to vote. That's the most important thing we can do. That is how we tell our elected officials, hey, you're doing a fabulous job, I love it, or hey, you are terrible, get out of here. You really need to pay attention and vote. It impacts you, it impacts how, many, how much tax you pay, not only your income tax, but fuel taxes, which also impact the cost of food because food is transported a lot of times on semis. So you really need to be paying attention to the news and to current events and to who your elected officials are so that you have an informed say in whether they get to keep doing their job or if somebody else should do their job. So that's the purpose of this week. Check out the news. Um, if you want to tell me about what you find, that's great. Um, the only thing you're required to do is the reflection assignment. So please reach out with questions. Remember, if you're missing assignments, get them in. I do not penalize um, for late assignments. The main purpose of this class, as far as I'm concerned, is that you do the work so that you understand the mechanics of the government because that is something that is going to impact your life forever. So that's it. Reach out, email, messenger if you have issues, questions, comments, and I'll see you next week. Bye.